What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing Twin Flame Tuesdays, okay? So if you feel you're in a Twin Flame connection, this video is for you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a card for you, and I'm going to pull a card for your partner, okay? And then we're going to ask what's going on with them, all right? So if you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. Spirit, can you give me one card? For the person who's watching this video, Spirit. Thank you. And can you give me one card for the person that they think is their twin flame, Spirit? Twin flame connection. Too many, Spirit. I'll take this one. Okay, so you came up as the wheel of fortune, okay? I feel like right now uh, the wheel is turning in your direction. And your partner came up as the king of wands, okay? So, um, I'm going to take another one. I want to see what's going on with your partner. Spirit, what is presently going on with this twin flame person? What's their situation, Spirit? Okay, and what is, um, what do they really feel to the person watching this video, Spirit. Okay, and also, um, what are their true intentions? And what is the outcome? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck is the Magician. This is the overall energy, all right? At the end, I will take a card for every sign, okay? So, you're coming up as the Wheel of Fortune. You could be physically moving, okay? But I feel like you're closing out some cycles and you're starting a new chapter. Um, I feel like the Wheel is turning in your favor. I'm going to clarify this Wheel of Fortune and see what's going on in your life. Spirit. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? So I feel like um, you've had a hard time in this relationship with this person, okay? Or you're coming out of another relationship with somebody else. And this is the Seven of Pentacles. You are no longer taking stock of that situation. So the Seven of Pentacles is talking about you looking at the seeds that you invested and seeing if you got a return on your investment. I feel like you have pulled back energy and you're not doing that anymore. Now, your person came up as the King of Wands, okay? This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The King of Wands is a very passionate, knows what he wants, knows how to go after it, and knows how to get it. Spirit, can you clarify this King of Wands? What's going on with this King of Wands? So this King of Wands is not feeling defensive towards you. I feel like they might be in another connection and it feels like they're giving up hope on this situation. Spirit, let me get one more. King of Wands with the Nine of Wands in reverse. I feel like at one time they were defensive, but they've let that go because they want the Ten of Cups, the Happy Life, the Happy Wife, the Happy Family card. Now, uh, their present situation is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Spirit, why is this Eight of Cups in reverse? Let me get one more, Spirit. Why is this Eight of Cups in reverse? So, okay. Wherever they are, if they're in another situation, they want to leave, but they haven't with this Eight of Cups in reverse. And the reason why they want to leave is because there's no passion there. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, they're waiting for the wheel to turn so they can free themselves with this Wheel of Fortune. It's funny because you both got the Wheel of Fortune, so it feels like you both are waiting to get out of your situation so you can be together. Now, when I ask them what they uh want with you you got the three of cups spirit what's what what's with this three of cups spirit
Yeah, they want to celebrate with you, okay, and move to calmer waters, all right? They're not happy where they are. Then when I ask them what their true intentions of you is the um, Knight of Swords spirit. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Why is this their intention? Explain to me. Something else flipped out. I saw it. Okay. All right. So um, this King of Swords, this Knight of Swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. This is talking about um, rushing in with the truth, sometimes harshly. I feel like you don't have communication with this person right now, Eight of Wands, okay? There's not, they're not communicating with you. I feel like they were trying to give this other situation a fair shot. That's why they weren't communicating with you. But they are waiting for this tower to come in, okay? Um, as soon as that falls, I feel like they're headed your direction. I feel like it's going to take you by surprise, too, when they come rushing in and tell you this truth. That they don't want to be where they are. But um, a tower is happening for them in their situation, all right? They feel very stuck in the Eight of Swords energy, prison of their own making. They got into this relationship. They might have thought that it was a better off for them, or maybe you were in a relationship, so they felt they had to move on with their life. But um, how, how does it go? Like, I hate it here. Like, you know, when a little kid says that, that's the energy I'm feeling, right? And then the High Priestess, okay? So I feel like this person that they are with knows about you and knows that that's where they want to be. I feel like this other person is holding on to them because they don't want to, not only do they not want to lose them, but they don't want to feel like they lost to you. Spirit, why is this uh, Knight of Wands here as the outcome, Spirit? Why is this Knight of Wands here as the outcome? So the Knight of Wands is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? This is a passionate knight, and he knows what he wants. He knows how to go after it. Only thing is that he changes directions frequently, and this is considered the player card. Um, you might hold back from this person because maybe in the past they were behaving as a player. They might still be one, but they're rushing into you, right? And, okay, one second here. They're rushing into you and you're holding back, right? With the four of pentacles. Because you're concerned with this player energy, the six of pentacles. You want fairness and balance. There wasn't balance before, right? But for some of you, when your person comes back, especially if they're Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you might say you don't want them back because you don't trust them. And that causes a tower for them. And then this Knight of Wands shows up. And you're like off put. But for the majority of you, this person is going through a tower because they don't want to be in the situation that they're in. When they come into you, it's going to cause a tower for you too because you're not going to um, expect this. Their person is aware that they want to be somewhere else. Okay, and if they're in a situation where there's like some type of financial lack, this other person's home holding money over their head. Okay, so, um, and I'm really feeling that this has something to do with money in their situation. Maybe they feel like they can't um, do it on their own or they can't move forward. But you see there's four pentacles here and six here, ten. Okay, tens are endings. So um, this person's trying to hold on to them with money. Okay, so I'm going to get a soul's journey card to see what your partner needs to be working on right now. Spirit, can you show me what the, co the collective's partner needs to be working on right now? Grief. Yeah, they're getting hella grief where they are right now. And they're grieving the fact that they're not with you. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So, um... They thought maybe that they were going to be in a better situation, and now they realize that they messed that all up, okay? Um, I am going to get a divine love message. See what your person would want to say to you. Spirit, 
What would this, what is this person feeling but not saying? What is this person feeling but not saying, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. So you are always in my thoughts. I need some time alone to separate. A temporary separation is needed. This this is might have been what they said to you before, or this is gonna be what they're saying to this other people. So they, this other person say, get the get the hell out of that situation. I can't talk. Mercury retrograde, right? We are twin flames. Our divine union is meant to be. So that's what they really feel about you. Okay. I'm going to get uh, love and romance, angel spirit. Can you show me what this person really feels for the person watching this video? So they're hoping that you can forgive and, um, you know, and that they're trying to learn from this situation. Okay. And their true intent. They think you're a soulmate. Outcome spirit. They're trying to flirt with you. There's a deception here and it may be because they don't want to tell you everything that went on or they might not even want to admit that they uh, chose wrong, right? But they are trying to, gonna, they are going to try to keep it light with you, okay? I want to clarify this magician as the overall energy and then I'm going to start pulling the signs. Spirit, can you show me why the magician is here as the overall energy, Spirit? Why is this magician here? So uh, the magician is Aries. This is someone who has all the tools to manifest. This could be you. Um, I feel like if I would be 100% honest, I feel like this magician is the partner of the person that you are watching this video for. They're trying to manifest this person not leaving them. The world is here is in reverse. They're holding on for dear life to this situation. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Queen of Pentacles, okay? This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is a very stable queen, nurturing, and is considered the quintessential wife. This person could be married to this other person, but either way, this person is trying to hold on to them. And the other message I'm getting with that, with this is that this person uh, is also coming up as the magician because they're trying to close out manifesting, closing out this cycle because they see you as the quintessential wife, but they got to close out this situation first. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to pull all signs and let's going to see, um, individual signs what's going on with your person okay spirit if they're dealing with an aries what can they expect aries if they're dealing with an aries what can they expect spirit if they're dealing with an aries knight of pentacles in reverse that situation is halted they're stuck right now spirit if they're dealing with a Taurus, what's going on? If they're dealing with a Taurus, I'm putting these two. I'll take the others that fell. Um, That person, the Taurus wants to come uh, rushing in. Okay, they uh, feel bound by their present situation. This is the devil card. This was the chariot cancer, right? Um, but they're trying to uh, get break free from the devil because they see you as the star, the card of Aquarius, right? Spirit, if they're dealing with a Gemini. If they're dealing with a Gemini. Two of Wands, this person's trying to make the decision, okay? Trying to make a decision to come to you. Spirit, if they're dealing with a Cancer. If they're dealing with a Cancer... If they're dealing with a cancer spirit. Knight of Swords in reverse. This person, um, they're not ready to come in. 
I feel like there's a lack of communication right now. I feel like this person is arguing and it's just a lot of shit going on over there. Okay? And um, they haven't told this other person the truth yet. This person um, is not the master of their emotions. Let's just put it like that. Okay? Um, if it is a Leo spirit, if it's a Leo... Yeah, if it's a Leo spirit, if it's a Leo, five of swords, this person's trying to win at any cost, okay, and yeah, they might feel stuck in their situation right now, but they, they're trying to win at any cost, I feel like they're really going to try to come into you no matter what, even if they've got to break somebody's heart, okay, um, if this person is a Virgo, what's happening, spirit? If this person is a Virgo, if this person is a Virgo, they're fighting this death and transformation, okay? They're, they're trying to give their relationship one last run, but they feel it. Like, they feel like, oh boy, this is the last time, and if this doesn't work, then I gotta go. Spirit... If this person is a Libra, Libra is manifesting the hell out of you with this magician card. Spirit, if this person is a Scorpio, if this person is a Scorpio, they're ready to bounce from their situation, okay? This is the Ten of Cups in reverse. They want out, okay? They want to be with you. They want this Ten of Cups in um, the upright. Spirit, if they're a Sagittarius, if they're a Sagittarius, they've already left this person and they're coming to you with this six of swords they are trying to come into calmer waters okay they're already alone though they've already uh, made their decision spirit if this person is a capricorn okay so um they came up as the king of cups i feel like they're hiding their emotions all right they see you as the queen of wands and they have a lot of love for you okay so the queen of wands is sassy confident feisty right and they really want to come in if you're dealing with an aquarius too many spirit if you're dealing with an aquarius This person, um, they're not sending you messages at this time, but I feel like they will, okay? Um, they're offering you their Ace of Pentacles, but they're, they have no passion in the situation that they're in, okay? And if you are dealing with a Pisces, sir, if they're dealing with a Pisces, what's the situation? Yeah, they're ready to go. They have um, the Ten of Wands where they are. It's just too burdensome. And they got temperance. So they need to heal a little bit. But they want the reconciliation. So that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to get some advice from Spirit. And we're going to close this out. Spirit, I'm going to get some advice. For the collective. Twin Flame Energy. Advice, Spirit. So wish fulfilled. So I feel like your person is coming into you very shortly. Okay. And that's what I have for you guys. If you like this uh, Twin Flame um, Twin Flame Tuesdays, comment below and I'll keep it going. All right. So I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that resonated with you, please like, subscribe and comment as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.